everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button and remember to share to all your friends, people you like and people you don't like, you get me. And today guys is Asno Nil, Manchester United Nil, a scoreless draw against those gooners. Ah, oh, shit, man. I can't believe we drew. We dropped points again. Yes, guys, and it's been a bad week for Manchester United. To draw against Arsenal, another game against the Big Six, not being able to win a game against any of these guys is poor, poor. And, guys, it is concerning. But to this game, I'm so pissed off because I wanted to win this game. You Mancunians, you Manchester United Holics, you wanted to win this game as well. Of course, just to talk smack to those Arsenal pagans, those ops, those assholes, you know, those Arsenal supporters. They, because they annoy me at the end of the day. They're like a bunch of bees bzz, 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 all up in your face. You just want to go, but you can't get them. No, 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 no. Just to draw against them, you know, and we were shit. We were shit, guys. The whole 90 minutes, we did absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. What did we do with the ball? Tell me. Trust me. Tell me what we did with the ball. We did nothing at all. Let's just go straight to the game. Because the first 20 minutes, guys, puh, 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 nothing in it. It was a pretty much even in the first 20 minutes. Arsenal having slightly the better chances. Us as a team with the ball, ha, horrendous. Seriously, guys. And just to see McTominay go off, that just proved to me that Oli with his team selection, and although I don't know what happened to McSauce, cramps, I don't know whether he never ate at all, but that just goes down to whatever Oli's doing with the boys, how he handles them. And again, 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 another game where I thought we needed Van der Beek. Van der Beek in that midfield would have been able to help Paul Pogba or help Fred as well in the double pivot. I just don't know why he just don't want to play Fred and Van der Beek in the double pivot with Pogba doing what exactly what he was doing on the right hand side or the left hand side. I just don't know why. What's his issue, guys, with Donny Van der Beek? Oh, it's so annoying. Guys, <coughs> guys, who saw Hector Bellerin laying on the grass just for a Bruno Fernandes free kick? Ask the fans, are you being serious? You, is this how you're behaving for Bruno Fernandes, who you call Bruno Fernandes, who you don't rate sometimes, you know? Lay on the grass just for a free kick, just to defend that. <laughs> Do me a favour, jog on. Half time, nil nil, boring as hell. You could have done anything else. You you just thought, is this what I've spent my Saturday night for? Like, I've waited the whole entire day talking smack to all those Arsenal fans. And then this, nil nil half time. It looked like it was going to be a draw. It was written all over the thing. All over the gap, it was just written. It's going to be a ball draw. Second half started, guys. We was even worse off than what we was in the first half. What do we do? Nothing. And please, guys, 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 tell me. Why does this manager of us, Ole, stop it? Please make earlier substitution that impacts the game. I thought when it got to the 65th, 69th minute, I thought a change was needed. But this Mason Greenwood substitution during close to the 80th minute did not make any sense. It was just not impactful. Marcus Rash was a poor again. Muro Fernandez giving the ball away. Pogba tried, Fred tried, and Luke Shaw tried as well. Aaron Wambisaka was pretty much annoying, but he tried as well. But Cavani, you guys say, oh, no, oh, oh, we should be at Cavani up front. This proved again. What did Paul Cavani do? Nothing. Because why? The problem is we can't create. We cannot provide anything to our strikers. Not at all. And that's the problem. And that's the reason why Marshall is not scoring, guys. And you have to accept the fact that we can't do anything. We do not provide, we do not provide our striker service. And if you can't do that, expect our strikers not to be able to score. Match ending nil-nil. Shit game, guys. Manchester United Holics. I don't know what to say. Apart from the match was shit. Boring. Ugh. Waste of time, guys. Waste of your time. Anywho, man of the match, nobody. Donkey of the match, nobody. Because that match had nothing in it, bro. Nothing to talk about. Nothing good. Just, ah, uh, we've wasted a week. What a week we've wasted. And to think that we want to be title contenders, that says it all. When it really matters, guys, 
Ollie and the camp and the boys just don't come to it. They just don't come to it. They don't step up at all, guys. And if you think we're going to challenge, this is just pure proof that we won't be able to challenge with this type of nonsense, this type of garbage, guys. Anyway, guys, this has been your match reactions. Manchester United, Holics, take it easy tomorrow because we didn't lose against those scumbags of Arsenal's. Nah, we didn't. We didn't lose against, against those assholes. So, yes, guys, as usual, let me know who your man in the match was. If there was one, don't give the match. I definitely think there definitely will be one. Let me know what you thought of the match, guys. Again, as always, remember to subscribe, smash that like button. And as always, remember to share this to all your friends, people that you like, people that you don't like. And remember, girls, share it to your ex just to piss them off. You get me? And guys, remember to follow the social, the official Instagram account to Red United TV, which is Red United TV one baby, and my own personal Instagram account, which is Ivorian underscore spice. You get me. same thing for the Twitter. You get me, guys. And as always, remember, guys, try keep it united as you can, and always remember to keep it Red United. Your boys out. Peace out.